guys, this is Mitchell from Your Last Hope, and today I'm going to talk to you about a uh, product review. Um, so, as you know, it's early winter right now, and right now is the perfect time to be getting ready to think about what you're going to be planting in your spring and summer gardens. It's also a good time to worry about what you're going to do in your fall gardens, but you got time on that one. So, um, one of the things that you can do is you can order seeds from catalogs, you can order seeds offline, you can order different things, you know, whatever you're interested in. And so today, um, we ordered a product off of eBay here, and this is the SOS Seeds. It's uh, 13,000 13, seeds, uh, 33 fruit, vegetable variety, non-GMO, U.S. heirloom, home bank, uh, lock comes in about ten dollars and then about five dollars and change for shipping um, comes in a nice little brown envelope when it comes to you and then when you open it you got this nice little silver mylar bag which I've kind of already opened to take a peek inside it comes with the mylar bag and a little booklet and so we're going to take a look at this a little closer and we'll bring y'all in here and y'all can take a look at this with me and we're going to see exactly what we got today Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I got y'all a little closer in here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, it comes with this little booklet here. This is uh, Pure Pollination. Uh, they've got a website down here. Instructional booklet for sun cycle, USDA zone, watering, uh, all kinds of stuff. It's 100% made in the US, so yay. Um, but it comes out... Uh, they got a little mission statement, be prepared. A little index here where you can see what's going on. Practical gardening tips. Uh, and the nice thing is, they even got seed harvesting here, which is something we're going to get into a little later once we actually uh, pull some stuff out of the garden. But it shows you what the plant looks like, what the seed looks like, and then all the instructions for it even little harvesting tips and notes and it does that all the way through the entire booklet here 40 pages worth of that and at the back it's got the uh, hardness zone map for the US but uh yeah fairly useful little map uh, book here not map book here that uh, we'll be keeping on and using with this particular product but this is what we ordered right here. Um, it's supposed to be 33 varieties of seeds for vegetables. And it comes up here and it tells you what we got here. We got asparagus, arugula, beans, beets, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cantaloupe, carrots, uh, cauliflower, celery, collards, green, cucumbers, uh, eggplant, honeydew, kale, lettuce, onion, peas, pepper, pumpkin, radish, rutabaga, Spinach, squash, sunflower, Swiss chard, tomato, and watermelons. So there's a lot in here. So uh, like I said, I tried, kind of took a peek in here to see what's in here. So now I'm going to show you. It comes in this mylar bag, which is reusable. So you go ahead and just uh, take this little tab here and pull. And then you pull it apart here. It's got a little zipper. And then we can take this. We'll move this out of the way here. Nice cleanser. Yeah, pull it. And here we go. We have seeds. So here we go. We got beef steak tomatoes. The uh, little wrappers themselves are labeled as to what they are. So you can find what you're looking for fairly quickly. Well, I say that once you uh, oh. And a little desk kit packet. But you got all kinds of stuff here. Ooh. Romaine lettuce, yeah. All kinds of stuff. Radish. That's a different one. Okay, so 
let's see how many we actually got here. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33 different packets of seeds here. Now, the other thing about this is you can actually uh, store this in a freezer for 30 years in the packet here. Just put it all back in here, seal it back up, and put it in the freezer. So this is a long-term investment plan if you want to do it this way, or it can be a short-term like I'm going to try to do and actually plant it this year and see how well these particular seeds actually do. Now if these seeds actually do well, I'll be reusing them the following year and continue using them. But the question is, does it work? And right now, for what I'm seeing, this looks like it would work. The preparation, the uh, booklet, all this stuff is already prepared to help you succeed. So we're going to see. But for the money, you can't beat this. So uh, Stay tuned for our garden episode. You're going to see some of these in here and using them. And then we're going to do a final review uh, sometime in the fall, actually showcasing how we did on each one of these. So stay tuned. Thank you. Uh, please like and subscribe. Comment if you got a question or if you want to add something to it. Uh, let us know. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.